Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that has left many developers scratching their heads. Our viewer is curious about the ref attribute in Vue.js, specifically in the context of an input element. They ask, what's the real purpose of the ref attribute? Let's break it down together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through a question, going through those answers, and hopefully it leads to your solution. Remember, stay a little bit crazy, just like me, to get through to your resolution. Now let's get started. Let's start by understanding the ref attribute in view.js. The ref attribute is used to register a reference to a DOM element or a child component, allowing you to access it directly in your view instance. In the provided code, we see the ref attribute set to input within the currency input component. This means that we can reference the input element directly using this name. Using this reference, you can perform various operations on the input element, such as focusing it or retrieving its value programmatically. This is particularly useful for managing form inputs. To access the input element in your view component, you can use this refs.input. This gives you direct access to the DOM node, allowing you to call methods like focus or get its value. In summary, the ref attribute is a powerful feature in Vue.js that allows you to interact with DOM elements directly, enhancing your ability to manage user input effectively. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The ref attribute is particularly useful in view component testing. It allows you to easily retrieve HTML elements without adding ID or class attributes, which can interfere with styling. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The ref attribute in view is used to directly manipulate child components after they have been rendered. However, it's important to note that you should avoid accessing refs in templates or computed properties. And that's it guys. We've gone through, I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe, really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one.